Ghosts walk the streets of Pueblo with 10 different stories to tell, all tied to the city's history. Amazing people came through here and good, bad and ugly. And actors make it seem like the ghosts really do come out to play. And they speak from first person as if they were that person. They get right into that character. So you can, it's like bringing history alive. Like this guy we found hanging out on the river walk, telling everyone his famous baseball stats. I am Babe Ruth. Come on down and see me down here. We'll show you. He came through Pueblo to play baseball in the 20s. Moving on, some of the stories might surprise you. We've got somebody who is actually, you know, on the Titanic, uh, the story about this man and his mistress, scandalous. This man, who once lived in Pueblo, ended up dying that night in 1912 when the unsinkable ship went down. And how about hearing something like this on a street corner? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. A man hypnotized a Pueblo lady in the 1950s. She had never been out of the U.S., but the hypnotist became famous for his claim that he made her remember a past life. When hypnotized, she spoke in an Irish accent about her childhood in Ireland in the 1800s. One, two, three. The walk isn't just a chance to learn, but it's an opportunity to help, too. It benefits the Domestic Violence Task Force and the Battered Women's Shelter at the YWCA. Trying to increase not only awareness, but services that are offered for people who really need the help. As night falls downtown, you end at the train depot after making your way through history. In Pueblo, Lacey Steele, News 5.